Hey everyone, Chris and welcome back to Jalopy. As you can see, we're actually back at the beginning. After the mess ups of the last time, I thought I'd go ahead and just kind of restart over, give everything a hopefully better run, just kind of in general. And man, I think this is kind of the way to go. I mean, we didn't really come back to the house in the past two episodes, but uh, we already have like the whole setup in the car, and there's just pretty much extra parts here. And then we even get a couple extra tires here we could pretty much build a second car if we really wanted to but i'm sure this is gonna be pretty dang heavy oh so this might be a kind of either or situation or not i don't know it was just placing it kind of weird i guess but man everything's yeah everything's good man i kind of kind of want to take some of this stuff but I'll, at the same time i'm sure it's gonna be way too much weight so I think, unfortunately, we'll kind of leave some of this here. Maybe just a ignition coil. I don't know. Maybe we could sell it for a little bit of a extra cash if necessary. But I think this looks pretty good here. And just to show you guys over here, that's a little, a little under, actually. It could use a little bit more. That's full. And then we might try this out where we keep everything in a rich oil mix. I think that makes the car just a little bit slower. But uh, everything should wear quite a bit slower as well okay well let's put that away close that close the hood and kind of be on our way here people have left some helpful hints so let's go ahead and turn it on and select a route here i'm actually kind of curious as to what's going to be a bit different so we can do a gas station or kind of nothing. Let's go to number three. Kind of nice and sunny. And then we get a gas station kind of in the middle. I think that'd be pretty nice. Because, yeah, as I was saying, some of you have left some very helpful comments that we're supposed to kind of look in a suitcase. which should give us a bit of a story. And then I would assume all this uh, dialogue's kind of the same as before. But man, maybe because we're running it kind of rich, that has even less acceleration than before. Man, I don't know. It's been a while since I played this, so it just feels extra slow. Definitely maybe excited to get some upgraded parts l later on, but that assumes everything goes well. But yeah, definitely going to try to pick up lots of items. Hopefully don't uh, gamble away all our money on textiles this time. I, I honestly thought I was getting a pretty good deal, but uh, apparently not. And kind of speaking of money, some people did say in the comments, apparently you could go around the hotel, knock on doors, and get a little bit of uh, extra cash if necessary. I am also kind of curious about the AI, because last time we kind of got stuck when... Uh, they're just spawning it upside down. It does seem that's unfortunately a semi-common occurrence. But yeah, most of this should be pretty much the same. Just trying to keep an eye out for any goods we can sell. Because I'll pretty much take anything at this point. I realized how desperately we need uh, lots of money in this game. Although the one downside is obviously we don't have a whole lot of storage space back there. Okay, no one's blocking the road, right? I think we're good, actually. Yeah. Oh, hey, we actually have a car, and it's it's actually driving. Okay, that was pretty cool. See, maybe this is kind of for the best. Maybe the other one was just uh, really, really bugged out. I'll definitely try to keep an eye on fuel and, obviously, distance. So, 104. So, another uh, 244 to go. Again, distances don't... Feel all that slow in this game. Okay, I see a package here. Let's uh, check it out. This is when it's a little bit more dangerous because, um, you know, we could get to the area and not be able to sell it and maybe even get arrested depending on what it is. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a risk here. Oh, yeah, people were telling me uh, we need a crowbar or pry bar for this. I don't think I have the storage, unfortunately. No. I mean, I feel like I should just, you know, be able to toss this in the back. Oh, wait, maybe I can. Hold on. I don't know if that's going to work, but um, I'm going to try it. Yeah, that's not a good sound. I 
I think it's, yeah, I mean, it's here, technically. But uh, we're not going to go more than maybe 20 kilometers an hour here. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to have to ban ship on that one, unfortunately. Yep, bye. That makes me think it was probably something really, really good if it was that heavy. And yeah, I'm sure it's fine in the middle of the road. Totally won't cause some accidents. If it does, it wasn't on me. Okay, kind of feels like I just did a big circle because this looks exactly the same, but we are at uh, 179. Uh, you got to turn that off, make sure to save from some fuel. But I do feel we are quite a bit more fuel efficient. Might obviously be because of the oil mixture we have right now. Hey man, should I have brought those tires? I feel like it wasn't that bad of an idea. Let's take that tape off. That's still incredibly satisfying. And hey, some sausages. Okay, only about uh, 1.8 each, but uh, every dollar kind of counts in this game. Okay, everything's doing pretty good so far. I think the game does say the more stuff you have in the back, the, the more weight, which is better traction, but then causes increased wear. But uh, yeah, everything's good so far. I mean, I would kind of hope so. We haven't gone all that far quite yet. And we're about halfway on gas. I think we start off with like 100 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and hey, we got our first car on this side of the road here. They do not drive all that quick. That's for sure. I feel like we have the slowest car in the game. But uh, somehow still might be a little bit faster. Actually, they might catch up here. We're having a drag race on the freeway totally. And he's going to win somehow, actually. Gosh, that thing's loud. Hey, man. Stay in your lane, even though I'm not really doing it myself. You kind of drive like me. Oh. Something's going on in the engine. Is it uh, overheating? Do we go through oil already? We've only gone uh, 200 kilometers, which... I mean, isn't all that much, right? I'm kind of kind of scared to pull over here, but uh, we might have to. I was kind of hoping for another little, little area we could pull into. And I'm kind of surprised we haven't passed the gas station quite yet. Or maybe we did, and I just completely missed it. That might be the case. Okay, but let's go ahead and pull over. Uh, turn on emergency lights. What do you mean turn the hazards off? We have a bit of a thing going on here, Uncle. Oh, that's kind of curious, though, if uh, police can come by. Oh, okay, so they're all just uh, two out of three. It's actually not too bad. I mean, I guess we'll kind of use this already. Rather keep stuff in tip-top shape. Okay, and that's gone. Let's add a little bit more gas, I guess. And plus, I'll probably clear up a little bit of weight here. But man, did I did, did I pass the gas station? Oh gosh, I keep clicking just slightly left. I swear I'll get it back in the car, Uncle. There we go. Turn that off. Hopefully, don't get rear-ended. And oh, get right on time. <laughs> yeah, that guy was kind of coming up. I don't know if he actually would have stopped with our hazards. Now let's move like two lanes over, over just to be safe. I mean, it's not even that big of a difference in speed here. He's probably only going about 50, maybe 60. And hey, we got more stuff to sell, probably. Okay, we'll leave it running this time. Gonna try to make it as quick as possible. Open that. Oh, it's a locked one, but uh, you kind of see stuff in there. It looks like medicine. Oh, that would have been a decent chunk of change, because I think each of those sells for about a... Uh, I think it was like seven or eight. So, you know, it could have been almost a uh, half a hundred bucks there. That's a weird way to save 50, but sure, I'm going to stick with it. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Uh, an abandoned car. Could we just salvage parts from it? Oh, this might be pretty dang cool. This is absolutely new. Kind of scary that we're doing it in the middle of the night here. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to get mugged or robbed or something, but uh, I'm sure it's fine. Let's open that up. Maybe just the trunk. So we got a road tire there, a box. 
We get into uh, the engine area. Yeah, we can't. Ooh, ramshackle. 10 kilometer an hour to top speed. Wait, what? Crone Kong air filter. Ooh, and camel water tank. Okay, so that's quite a bit larger. But obviously it's going to be kind of heavy. But th this is kind of big, actually. I didn't know we could find stuff like this. I think some of you guys did say there's like junkyards if you find the little question mark on the map. But hey, I got to say, I think that's a pretty big upgrade over that one. Not that I use the windshield wiper all that much. Okay, quick. Can we close that? Yeah, we can. Oh, one out of three durability. Hmm. I kind of get the feeling maybe I should put some of this stuff in the back, at least for now. Oh, what if this is illegal? I'm just like salvaging cars on the freeway. Hmm. I mean, other people did it first, so I'm sure it's fine. Okay, 450, 350, 350. Same thing there. And yeah, kind of the same as ours. Obviously, ours are down to two out of three durability. Um, I guess we'll see what's in the box, right? Let's open that up. Ooh, tobacco. Okay, only one pack, so 2.7. So, got to remember we're carrying sausages and tobacco. Make sure we don't bring anything too illegal. I don't know if all this will unfortunately fit. Yeah, that takes up pretty much the whole side there. Gosh, we got to gotta make some choices here. I guess we could maybe swap this out. I mean, I feel like we're getting relatively close. Okay, let's drop this one. Put that one there. Yep, one out of four durability. But should add quite a bit. Oh, that's 15 reduction. Oh, okay, so that actually is quite a bit better. It's comparatively to this. Okay, so it compares the parts. So that's why this was... Uh, Plus five. Okay, so 50% reduction in engine wear. That's actually really good. Okay, I'm starting to make sense of this stuff here. And then this is, um, so slower top speed, but better acceleration and kind of lighter than our engine. Okay, I get how it works now. I got it. I got it. Sort of, but man. Eh, sure, why not? We'll, we'll try it out. I think. Hold on, am I making a big, big dumb here? No, no, okay, it's, it's as I said, so it's a little bit lighter. Uh, just not, a not quite as high of a top speed. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. But man, these would have been really good to kind of sell. Okay, well, I don't think there's too much more we could really salvage there. So let's close that. And man, I'm still debating about the water tank. Honestly, I kind of feel like we might be okay with the other one. And that's probably a little bit cheaper than one of these parts. But uh, I don't think we have the room for it. It has to remove everything. No, okay. So we'll just hold on to that, I guess. Alright, that's enough dilly-dallying there. Let's see how this new engine runs. Doesn't sound too different, at least in my ears. Uh, we got something on the windshield. It's ironic that I was talking about how I don't really use it. And now I kind of have to. <laughs> the game's just trolling me at this point. Gosh, that's uh, really dirty. Or is it just broken? Hmm. We'll do one more. Yeah, I think I just have to clean it at the gas station or whatever. And man, I got kind of distracted there that I wasn't paying attention too much to the acceleration and everything. Okay, wait, I need to turn the lights on, Uncle. There we go. And yeah, either way, we're pretty much at the city, so we could buy a engine repair kit and get everything kind of nice and going. And I think that's going to be a pretty good kind of boost to durability in general. But man, did I really just not see the gas station? Or did I read the map wrong? Because I swear it said it. Oh, wait. Don't don't rewrite me, car. We got a, an option here. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on. Sorry. I have no idea which side to go. 
Oh, is it just the gas station literally like right before the city? I guess we might as well go here because I, th I think they take anything you're selling. Whereas in the city, you know, it's kind of only the approved stuff that you could sell. So maybe that's a little bit of the benefit here. And yeah, I, I kind of can't really feel too much of a difference. I, I think it feels maybe a little bit quicker as far as acceleration, but uh, still kind of tops out around 60. But I think that's because of our oil mix and all that. Okay. Oh, uh, we got stuff to do here. Okay, it's not actually letting me clean the car. So I'm assuming that stuff is just kind of on there, maybe semi-permanently. Okay, but we got some sausages and one tobacco to sell. I mean, it won't be too much, but uh, it'll definitely help. Hey there, you look a little lost. Yep, yep, yep. Kind of standard stuff. And hey, 630. That's actually not too bad. And I always forget we got to get our wallet over here. So 106 bucks, not bad. How much are these? I literally can't read the price there. Okay, 0.7. So that's definitely on the pricey side. Oh my goodness, we would have made bank with the medicine. Jeez, I should have really taken that. And you know what? I think I will take the crowbars, people have said. Because, yeah, we would have been filthy rich there, to say the least. And it doesn't seem like they actually have too many uh, engine parts. Hmm, I think we're okay on oil, maybe... Yeah, I guess I should always just kind of buy one. Okay, let's put that there. And that, and then, of course, I got to go get my wallet. And actually, I guess while we're here, might as well uh, fill up, right? Oh, and you can fill here. I don't know why it wasn't letting me do it before. Yeah, okay, that's all topped off. What's the damage here? 40 bucks, man. That uh definitely adds up very quickly. But good thing I did get a little bit of extra oil. Now this is at uh kind of running a little bit rich. Let's put that away. And that, but man, we just don't really have too much space here. But, uh, I guess maybe at the next stop we could kind of swap some of this stuff out. Obviously, just got to get a engine repair kit and we should be good. Okay, but still feeling quite a bit better about this run, at least now. Yeah, that's quite a bit more preppy. At least initially. And yep, should be Dresden in, uh, I think that would be 13 kilometers. Okay, but here we are finally at Dresden. So I don't think this stuff changes too much. So, um, I think gas station front left corner, I think. Oh, wait. Oh, that's interesting because I think, oh yeah, everything kind of changes here. Because last time I think the motel was over there to the right and the gas station was over there, I think. I could be wrong. Maybe that was the second city for all I know. Oh, that's one way to be sure. And then now that we're here, we could try out a couple different things. Ooh, what's on the ground? Oh, I think this is a hole through the ground. Sure. Oh, got to get my wallet, of course. Let's uh, pay up our 20 bucks, which is actually a little bit steep. Yep, yep, yep. Don't disturb others. But, uh, I think I actually might, because people will have said, uh, they might give us some money. Oh, because they think they're paying the person at the front, but they're giving us a 20. Interesting. Hold on, man. I gotta, gotta make some money. Okay, well, I'll let you in first. I make you wait out here. I wonder if we get in trouble for this, though. Maybe I'm pushing my luck here a bit. Don't come in. I'll slide the money. Oh my gosh, that's another 20 bucks. It does every single person do that. Am I cheating? Oh, go annoy someone else. Ooh, okay. So we got them a little upset. But hey, we're already back up to 106 bucks. Man, that really, really helped out. Close the door even though the keys are on the outside. And then his suitcase. Ah, okay. Berlin. I didn't really read the date there. Telegram. Salute fee in response to your request for the accusation of one Leica 601 motor vehicle for the purpose of transportation of personal property to be returned to their country of origin. Placed on the date 12 2 1986, we can now inform you. Oh, is that redacted? Furthermore, we are compelled to remind you that all communications with countries outside state sphere of influence are thoroughly monitored. 
and as such, we must ask all comrades exercise constant vigilance with regards to any delicate information they may find themselves in possession of that we are unable to approve of or support this request on the grounds that government vehicles are not to be used in the transportation of private property, especially the countries outside the Fraternal Socialist Observation Group. Hmm. Oh, this is actually pretty interesting. So he's kind of uh, illegally moving with us or something? I, I, I don't think I fully comprehended that quite yet. Because he's kind of lying about the moving personal property as an excuse, but then it was denied, right? Okay, but either way, that's just as you guys said that there's uh, quite a bit of lore. I'm still going to check these uh, cabinets every time. Oh, I thought that was actually kind of something for once there. Nope. Okay. Nothing there. I'm kind of curious if the hotel lady is going to say something. Oh, okay. Don't want to be disturbed again. Uh, Sorry about the guest. My bad. Don't get mad at me. I kind of feel like I went behind his back, right? Like, I just opened up his suitcase. I mean, it was, it was there open, but still. Okay, but once again, we do have a decent chunk of change. So let's uh, head straight for the gas station, of course. I know he's going to tell me to choose the destination, obviously. I fit through that, right? Yep, yep, yep. So dollar, gallon. I don't think that's actually changed from any of the other ones. And we'll just kind of uh, park up right there. Okay. Should we change this? How's ours doing, actually? So three out of three. Kind of cool if I can install multiple. Obviously, I don't think that quite makes sense. But, um, you know, we have it here. So might as well maybe sell it. And then we're going to switch out that one. Because we're definitely going to have to buy an engine repair kit or two here if they have any. Yeah, they do. They have three, I think. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. How much is that? One dollar? Oh, they don't buy this. Okay, so this is kind of kind of worthless there. Okay, well, let's come over here. Let's get um, one of those and then a tire repair kit. Put that and that. Because um, I did notice some of our tires are starting to show the little wrench. Okay, let's get started with this. Yeah, that was a... Uh... Oh, we're going to need quite a bit, actually. <laughs> I just realized that because it has four durability. Okay, that was... Pretty much everything there. And then how are these doing? Yeah, I don't think I can do it with the wallet. Okay, so we have to get probably all the kits here. I think that's what the game's telling us right now. Okay, that's going to be 30 bucks, which is obviously pricey, but uh, again, since we kind of haggled the, the residents at the hotel, we have a decent chunk of change still. Okay, so I still don't think I could do anything about the tires until they essentially blowouts. So I think I just have to replace those at some point, but uh, two out of three isn't actually all that bad. Went ahead and got gas, and I did have to kind of resell one of the repair kits. But I think we're pretty much good to go here. Okay, let's uh, turn around. We'll take a look at the map, see where we have to go. Should probably not do this while the car's running, of course. Definitely route one. Just deal with a little bit of rain. That's actually not too bad. Turn on our lights. Windshield wiper. And we should be good. And then the only thing we can't bring was uh, kind of medical supplies. But, I mean, that'll kind of change by the time we're at the next area. Okay, but this should be the one about the bridge in Princess Valerie, I think. But, uh, yeah, we'll definitely keep our eyes open for any good stuff. Not that we have a whole lot of space, but... Uh, we do have the crowbar now, so that'll kind of change. And man, we still get pretty bogged down with the hills here. And if I think I read the menu right, or the loading screen, um, you'll kind of slip on those, obviously, but uh, it'll kind of cause you to lose traction, at least for a couple moments. And then you can kind of like hydroplane and all that. So definitely best to avoid those. And then probably at some point, maybe like halfway on this trip, we'll probably have to switch out some tires. So I think that's going to be kind of interesting. 
Again, it doesn't seem like you could use uh, engine repair kits, so... Eh, that's just kind of what it is. Little side path there. Okay, there is an item. I'll definitely stop for it. I gotta make as much money as possible, obviously. I think we should be fine on fuel. I don't know if this one was actually more or less fuel efficient. Oh, actually, two packages. I wonder if I could have just opened this up. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, well, let's grab both. At least get them a little bit closer. I think if you look at it the right way, you can kind of see what's inside. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just open it. Okay, tobacco. Ooh, decent chunk. And that one's kind of like a blue one. And medicine. Oh my goodness. 40 each. Well, definitely taking the medicine. Because uh, that can make us very, very rich. I just don't know how much we could actually fit there. But I'm going to try to fit it all. Obviously, this one is technically illegal here. But uh, again, can be well worth it. Hopefully, unless we get caught or something. Oh, we're going to have to leave just one. But uh, quite the haul, quite the haul. All right, I'm cool with that. Don't say anything, Uncle. We're both accomplices in this. You're doing your thing, I'm doing my thing, all right? We have a deal. And man, that actually, I think, did go through quite a bit of gas there. Should have definitely turned it off. Because if I recall, I don't think there's a gas station on this one. And as we learned, they could appear kind of anywhere. Oh, the Republic seems brighter than I remember. Oh, wait, there is a gas station here? Hold on. Okay, I think we're about to make bang. Unless they, you know, call the police or anything. <laughs> then we're kind of screwed. But I think we should hopefully be good here. Because this should be an item that they obviously buy. Even if they buy it for a lesser rate, I'm okay with that. And honestly, I think we probably could use some fuel because we're going through it incredibly quickly. I think it's about 10. That should be almost 300 depending on the price if she even wants to buy it. Oh, 199. She can't afford to buy it. Oh my goodness, we're making too much money here. Okay, well, let's leave it on the side because then, man, we can just kind of go to town buying stuff here. And then maybe she'll have enough after. Because I don't know if we should risk it taking it back to the city. Not that there's anything we really need here. And man, that kind of got quite a bit pricier here. 1.7. Ooh, wine for 20 bucks. I haven't paid enough attention to know if that's good or not. Off-road tires. And they do range a little bit in a uh, traction. Yeah, this one's... A little bit better soft compound versus medium. So I think that's why last time one of them was a little bit more pricey. Ooh, hard versus soft as well. So maybe there's even like a normal or medium for these. Yeah, interesting. And honestly, the tires are still actually two out of three. So we won't worry about that quite yet. We'll buy that. Already got some gas. We'll put this here and see if she'll buy a couple more of these. Oh, she literally can't afford to buy any. Okay, I thought us buying something would kind of even it out. But uh, apparently not. Oh, sorry, Uncle. <laughs> Just kind of launch him in the air there, I guess. Oh, we got to take him out one by one, of course. Okay, well, I think we did all the buying we're going to do there. Yeah, again, I got really lucky this time, and I think the, the reset was well worth it. Oh, this is interesting. So it kind of turns into a dirt road a bit. Um, so Velvet Revolution, a largely peaceful transition of power. East Germany spreading through the fraternal states. And man, something's already going on with something in the engine. Okay, I guess we'll pull over at least kind of quickly. I mean, we only went like 10 kilometers from uh, the area over there. Oh, three out of four and two out of three. I mean, that's actually not too bad. I swear I did repair stuff at the gas station. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Plus, we got two brand new tires there. Might have been interesting to try out some of those uh, off-road tires. I and mean, we kind of do have the money now. I keep missing the door. There's an interesting story about the revolution that you might not know about. When people wanted to show support for the revolution, demonstrators would jingle their keys... 
This is interesting because not only did this practice signify the lock in the doors of the past, but uh, way of telling the socialist goodbye. Time for you to go now. Oh, interesting. Like we're moving in. Goodbye. I like I have to throw water, even though it's raining. Sure. Okay, but these are pretty bad driving conditions. It's raining. We're on a dirt road with uh, road tires. And there's like oil. At least there's not those potholes. I think that's why our car is lasting quite a bit longer. All we have to worry about are these puddles. And hey, another car. Man, I am just getting incredibly lucky this time. Ooh, red tro carburetor. Tro design delivers air and fuel to the engine to generate combustion. The red color represents freedom from restraint. So a little bit heavier, but uh, a little bit better fuel efficiency, I think. Plus one a kilometer a liter. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, road tire, two out of three. Nothing too crazy. A box and a tire repair kit. Well, let's see what's in the box, right? Coffee beans, 1.8. I mean, honestly, not that crazy. But uh, sure, why not? I think we should have space or not. Never mind, I lied. <laughs> okay, but I'll definitely take this, the carburetor. Swab that out. This is actually turning out to be a pretty dang nice engine. Yeah, 25 versus 26 kilometers a liter. So a little bit more fuel efficiency, I think. Shame we can't really take it with us to sell. Okay, so these are one out of three. It actually might not be too bad of an idea to swap over to... Oh, wait, it only has one. Hmm. I don't know if it's a good or bad idea to actually kind of wait till they pop or not. We'll just kind of keep going here and risk it for a bit. Again, probably the worst conditions to do that, but uh, it's what I'm going to do. But uh, considering we only have about 70 kilometers to go, I think we should be okay. The Velvet Revolution is an oxymoron of sorts. There was no bloodshed during this revolution. A practically peaceful change of power. Now that's a powerful thing. Clearly you don't need to punch your opponent to dethrone them. Oh, it's just like a train. Don't start right now, please. Ooh, I wonder if we could, uh... Maybe go on it? Maybe there's, like, boxes we could take. That'd be kind of interesting. Seems like it's actually kind of closed off, though. And we got another bridge here. So, uh, stuff is actually a little bit different right because last time he was talking about like princess valerie and the bridge that was named after her and then this time it's about like the revolution so pretty interesting but hey here we are man we're making some really good progress again the restart was well well worth it okay this is kind of perfect we got the car shop and the motel i don't know where the gas station is probably on the other side of town of course So let's park her up. Uh, I'll bug some of the guests for money. And we'll go to sleep. But man, 238. I kind of almost feel bad asking people for money. <laughs> we got almost too much here. Yep, I'll be staying here. Totally won't be bugging any of the guests. Yeah. Oh, she didn't say not to. Oh, never mind. I was going to try to get her on a technicality. So we're in room 1A. So right over here. Nice. Okay, so Uncle can get in. Let me go Bugs for some money. I think the game might realize, obviously, we have way too much here. But I'm going to keep trying. Okay, no one's in 2A. Okay, so they still do give you uh, 20 bucks here and there. Nice. I am just robbing these people dry, but man, 268. Okay, I think that's really, really good. Should have enough for a couple tires. I'm thinking we maybe just uh, kind of swap them all out. Wait, where's Uncle? Did he get stuck on the car or something, or what's going on? Oh, yeah, he's a, he's a little stuck there. Okay, there he goes, there he goes. Okay, what's new here, if anything?
uh, Werder Gonosin or Jenison has yeah, come to our attention that comrades are taking upon themselves to take government property without authorization. No property, including that of like automobiles, is to be taken across the western Berlin border. It must be stated again, comrade Gunter Schabowski did not intend to give the impression that citizens could pass through the border checkpoints visa-free with immediate effect. Visa rules still apply. Failure to follow these rules will result in punishment. Furthermore, any dismantling of the wall, which is government property, will result in punishment. And he's kind of got his uh his notes here, right? Because we've got GDR, CSFR. Tomorrow we're going to Hungary, and then maybe we'll get some issues because they're trying to go to Turkey. Interesting. So is the is the car the government property? I guess it is, right? That's what it stated. Yep, day to Starovo. Probably pronounced a little bit differently because of the accent on the U. Yep, good morning. And pick a route. Okay, well, how about we leave that one there? Again, this is going a million times better than I ever expected. We already got really lucky finding some good car parts. I'm sure those would have cost, you know, hundreds of dollars. And, you know, all the little tips about asking for money is incredibly helpful. Okay, is that any different today? Nope, just textiles banned in Hungary. But yeah, next time we'll kind of just keep going on from here. But I will definitely have to change our tires because they're not doing that great anymore. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching and see you next time.